What's going on everybody? I'm Dr. P and I truly hope that you're all just as excited as I am for the upcoming Fortnite Season X which drops tomorrow at 4 a.m. Eastern guys. I'm so excited and today we got the official trailer for Season X. I was not expecting this to happen. Apparently it was via a leak and then after it was leaked Fortnite just went ahead and made it official which I think was the right move. We're gonna break down every single detail of this trailer. You're not going to believe how telling it is and it actually confirms so many of our suspicions. Make sure to drop a like on the video and if you like what you see and you want to see more subscribe to the channel to never miss out on any awesome Fortnite content coming your way soon. Season X is bound to have so many new surprises and intriguing storyline twists and I will be here to keep you updated every step along the way. So I figured to start things off I might as well just let you watch the trailer in its entirety if you haven't seen it already so sit back relax and I'll see you after. Oh, uh, wow. That was insane. It's actually pretty crazy how much this tells us. So, let's slow it down and break it down. So, at the very beginning of the trailer, you can see the orb explodes, and you can see Jonesy frantically trying to run away from the explosion, but sure enough, everything is transported to some strange dimension that isn't the in-between, at least I don't think so, because it's not the same color. But it's some strange alternate dimension that holds basically everything in Fortnite's past. Jonesy is in complete shock. You can see a lot of things just floating around Fortnite related. And one of the very first things you see is the visitor's rocket flying through the air. You can see it right there. Good old rocket from season four making a reappearance in the cutscene. I wonder if this strange dimension is where the visitor was actually planning to go. Maybe this is the visitor's home. You can see the rocket actually goes into some rift and disappears and then you can see a gold tactical SMG which is insane. I wonder if that's actually going to be a real gun in the upcoming season. That would be amazing. One of the next things you see is that rowboat from season eight with the pirate and fish stick rowing him in. You also see a bunch of fiery stuff raining down from the sky. My guess is that is symbolic of the volcanic eruption we had in season eight. Next up, you can see Skull Trooper eating something floating, and you can also see the Loot Lake Island in the middle. And guys, finally, Kevin the Cube has made a reappearance in the storyline. It might not be for long, but sure enough, you can see a butterfly flying right up to Kevin, it explodes, and then all of a sudden, Jonesy finds himself in this sort of Christmas-themed wonderland. All of a sudden, you can see it snowing, there are presents, there is a sleigh, there are just so many different Christmas and winter-related items in this area of the trailer, a Christmas tree, snowmen, you name it. At this point, Jonesy is just kind of wandering through space. He can see several people waving at him, you can see people gliding in. Obviously, Jonesy wasn't the only person to get sucked into this dimension. He touches a present and then all of a sudden some kind of a jukebox comes out of a rift and then now you can see the Durburger show up out of a rift and start flying through the sky. And then you see that robot, the strange robot from the second season 10 teaser we got show up in the flesh. Peely makes a reappearance here, and I think this is kind of funny. Jonesy looks at Peely, and of course, you know what happened to Peely during Season 9's trailer. He got eaten, and Peely kind of gives him the I'm watching you sign, and I think that's a really funny meme. Everything seems to be gravitating towards this strange purple portal behind Peely, and sure enough, Jonesy starts falling back to the map. This is where we get our first glimpse at the Season X map. Let's pause right here. Notice anything off the bat? Dusty Depot is guaranteed to come back next season. Tomorrow, you will be able to land at Dusty Depot, which is amazing. It's confirmed to come back. Not only Dusty Depot, though. Look, 
just left of Jonesy's head and down a little bit. The OG factories are back as well, which is amazing. Two of the best spots ever. I remember landing in Salty, running it through the factories, and then hitting the depot. That was one of the best OG landing routes, and it looks like we're going to get a second crack at it. Although Dusty and the factories are coming back, there's something strange still. If you look in the bottom right-hand corner of the screenshot, you can see lava from the volcano from Pressure Plant still lingering. That means we're not getting the Season 3 map back. Rather, we're getting old places implemented into the current map, which I think is awesome. I've actually been saying just that over the course of my past few videos, so personally, I'm glad to see that theory come true. I wonder how many more places are going to come back, or if it's only going to be Dusty and the Factories. If it was only Dusty and the Factories, I'd be a little disappointed, but it would still be cool. Anyway, Jonesy hits the ground, he looks up, and all of a sudden, he's greeted with the meteor that struck in Season 4. But it's like someone pressed pause on the meteor. Like, literally, it's not moving, it's just hovering right above him. This is moments before Impact in Dusty Depot was destroyed originally. And then, of course, it finishes out with Season X. And the motto this time is Out of Time. What could that mean? As you know, the slogan of the seasons typically have a lot to do with what's going to take place. For example, in Season 5, it was Worlds Collide. In Season 6, it was Darkness Rise. 8 was X marks the spot, and 9 was the future is yours, and all of those obviously play big roles in what actually happened. Season X's slogan is out of time, so let's try and break that down a little bit. What's out of time? When you think of out of time, you usually think of like, oh, I've run out of time to do something and I can't do that anymore. What I actually think it means is they are out of the chronological time sequence, and that makes sense considering what we know is coming to the map. We know Dusty Depot and the factories are returning. There could be more places too. For example, recently they added a new creative prefab for Moisty Meyer, so who knows? Maybe we'll be getting the old Moisty back. Here's something that is just going to hurt your brain. I know it hurt mine when I tried to think about it. So, as we know, in Season X, based on the trailer, Jonesy gets put back on the island moments before the collision of the meteor, of course, that contains the visitor. So yeah, that's interesting, but think of it like this. If the meteor never hit the map, that means the divot would have never been created, the rocket would have never been launched, Kevin the Cube would have never come, and every single event that ever happened in the game should cease to exist. I mean, are you following my logic here? In time travel, if you go back and alter the past or change the course of events in some way, you're effectively eliminating so many things that happened as a result of that action. So by the meteor not actually hitting the depot, that means the storyline, as it has unfolded the past seven seasons or so, should have been erased. But when you look around the map, at least from the brief glimpse we got, you can tell the volcano, or at least lava from the volcano, is still there. So that means, in a way, the events still had to happen so the volcano could be formed. But the meteor hasn't even hit. So I'm just confused as to what's actually happening. There is some strange time loop here, and something has gone on to cause these events to go out of time, out of order. And that is what I think out of time means for Season X. And I think, honestly, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I think that's a pretty good analysis. I do find it very strange how all this stuff is happening when the meteor has not ever even hit the map yet, at least according to what's going on in this season. I am unbelievably stoked to learn more about Season X, to learn about the story, to dive into the battle pass, to dive into the challenges, the loading screens, every single thing about it, guys. I am so excited. Definitely let me know your hype levels now after seeing the new cinematic trailer that was not supposed to have been leaked today. It got it leaked a day early, so we actually know ahead of time what's going to happen, which is pretty cool. Here's one more thing I just thought of about the trailer. So we know in Season 9, Bunker Jonesy aged a good bit inside the bunker. We know that he grew a beard. There's even an aged variant of him in the Battle Pass. So my question, and it might have been overlooked so far, but how did Jonesy get younger all of a sudden? You know, we see him in Season 9 growing old with a beard, and throughout the course of Season 9, you can unlock an older version of him. But looking at the Season X trailer, he is young and vibrant, no beard, short hair, doesn't look like he's gone through any trauma. So is it possible the Jonesy we're seeing is actually a past Jonesy, which would make sense considering all the time travel stuff we're going through? Here's something that might hurt your brain a little bit more. At the very beginning of the cinematic trailer, moments before the orb exploded, so we're before all that stuff, Jonesy was young already, so how did that happen? I'm really curious. Maybe I'm looking too far into it. Maybe it literally means nothing at all, and there's just two different Jonesies. 
I don't know, I don't think that's the case, but you never really know with Fortnite. Epic Games loves to have intricate storylines, and honestly, Season 9 was probably my favorite season so far. I really enjoyed it, and Season X has me on edge. Literally, on the edge of my seat, I woke up this morning, saw the trailer, and I could not believe it. Season X drops tonight at 4 a.m. Eastern Time. I'm probably going to be getting up early so I can get some gameplay and get a video out as early as possible for you guys. I'm super excited about everything. Make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. And tune in to the channel tomorrow for some exclusive Season X content and coverage. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. And until then, take it easy and happy Season X.